Attacking Wonder Woman. Get out of my face, Tin Man. I've had enough trouble with superheroes today to last me a lifetime. Not as much as you're gonna have if you don't give me a straight answer. She was fighting the cheetah, then suddenly started attacking everyone. We got the civilians out, and the park sealed off, but we can't get anywhere near her. Look at her. She's having a seizure or something. <sighs> you could be right. Her pulse, blood pressure, and respiration are off the charts. If she keeps going at that pace, she's gonna drop dead. That's not the worst outcome I can imagine right now. I'm gonna talk her down. Pull your men back. All officers, stand down and retreat to barriers. Repeat, stand down. You must be the real one. Whatever that weapon is, Cheetah, it won't work. It's a scanner. Something's happening to you. Did you just call me Cheetah? <laughs> she thinks I'm Cheetah. Wonder Woman, just listen for a minute. Whatever it looks like... I'm not Cheetah. Think about it. All those dozens of Cheetahs you saw, how is that possible? I don't know. I think I do. My sensors have detected a cluster of nanomachines attached to your brainstem. They're broadcasting directly into your visual and auditory centers, making you see whatever Cheetah wants you to. It could be. It is. She knows you'll never quit a fight. I think you're supposed to keep going until your heart gives out, or you have an aneurysm, or a cop gets lucky and shoots you. I've identified the frequency, so I'm just gonna broadcast- No! <laughs> I'm sorry you forced me to do this, Cheetah. Let's get you some medical attention. After you. Cyborg? That's me, all right. You want to tell me what the hell is going on here? I am John Jones. To give up now. Crap, it's the Justice League. That's three you owe. We keeping score? Not literally, because if we are, it's eight to seven in my favor. Batman, are you okay? I'll live. So will Ace, apparently. He's still a little embarrassed from last time. He sucker punched me. At the Queen. That leaves Jack. Haven't seen him since he sicked Ace on me. He couldn't have gone far. You search the vault, I'll take the rest of the building.
Don't bother. I just looked. Everywhere. The whole complex, except for the last vault room. Shall we? After you. <laughs> like you've got a choice. <laughs> Found him. You fast enough to go in there and knock him out before he glances in your general direction? We could just wait until his eye laser runs out of power. Flank him. I'll make sure he stays inside until you get there. That will work too. All right, now come the warning shots. Give up? Please say no. You'll never catch me, Lantern. Lots of women say that. Bang. Ah! Ah! Surrender peacefully and you will not be harmed. Really don't think so, Martian. Kill you where you stand. Trying to make me look away? It's not gonna work. I'm pretty sure it is, Jack. John! I am unharmed. Intangibility works every time. What? King escaped me. He was headed in that direction. Sorry I'm late. Just woke up two minutes ago. No wonder you wanted us out of the way. I thought you took care of him! He should have been burning for weeks. Don't feel bad. Actually, none of you managed to finish the job. Did you get all that? We did. Take them down. Don't let them get to the missile! I can't believe what you tried to do to me. You hurt me, Jordan. You broke my heart and I'll never stop trying to hurt you back. Didn't I bury you alive? That's where you made your mistake. I won't repeat it. You're good, but lately, I've had a lot of practice fighting you.
never asked me how my wrist was healing. Fine. How's your... Oh. Oh. Surprisingly fast. I do keep hurting you, don't I? Beware my power, asshole. Late night playing cards, Master Bruce. Something like that. How did you know? I believe tradition calls for hiding these up one's sleeves. Was that sarcasm, Alfred? Mild teasing at best. I'm being uncharacteristically gentle with you. Mainly because you're bleeding all over my nice clean floor. Not going to let me go to work. That is correct, Master Bruce. Not until you've had proper medical attention. Fine. Food and a minimum of eight hours bed rest. Let's just get this over with. I made chicken soup. You can eat while you brood, and I'll put in your stitches myself. It will be delightful, I'm sure. All right. By the way, the part about the stitches, that would be so. Shazam! Hello, Bruce. Sorry I couldn't be there for this. But I have a rather large check to pick up. Payment for dealing with you. Oh, you were concerned about where I put your parents? Don't be. They're very close. Rest in peace. <laughs> Captain Adam.
to the Legion of Doom! Wait, a further toast. I've been trying to kill Batman for nearly ten years. Well, this time, I did better than kill him. I humiliated him. Hear, hear! Each of us finally got the better of our opposite numbers, and it's all thanks to the genius of one man, Vandal Savage. <laughs> yes, he's the, he's the man! And his checks clear! <laughs> <laughs> Our business is completed. You are, of course, free to go. You hinted at a larger scheme and said there would be a place for us in it, should we so choose. I did. And the offer remains open to you all. But I fear you may lack the vision to go along with me. The next stage of my plans might be considered... genocidal. What are you going to do? Destroy the world? Nothing so crude. Half. Two-thirds at the most. <laughs> it's not a joke. It's the next step in a plan to transform the planet in a manner that will render your $100 million payday both trivial and meaningless. What possible profit could there be in destroying the world? The first thing you have to understand is that I am old. Older than the human race. I know that you believe this to be true. It is true. 80,000 years ago, I was living in what is now the island of Sumatra. One night, the sky lit up with streaks of fire. Meteors. But my primitive mind thought the stars were falling from the sky. One meteor fell to earth in my valley. My compatriots ran, but it was very cold, and the glowing stone was warm. I slept there, bathed in the meteor's strange radiations. And when I awoke the next morning, I was forever changed. The radiation mutated me, evolving me, I was instantly aware of my increased intelligence. It was only with the passage of time that I discovered the rest of my gift. So far as I know, I cannot die. Is that a fact? Go ahead. Why'd you do that? Don't you realize what he's planning? In his new world, our money doesn't matter. <gasps> you are correct. Money won't matter. It's trivial in the long run. <clears throat> Let me tell you about the long run. I've lived thousands of lives. I've been a laborer, a scientist, a priest, an artist, a healer, a thief. But most often, a conqueror. I'm still not seeing how this makes up for my money. 75,000 years ago, a disaster nearly rendered humanity extinct. I enslaved the survivors and ruled with an iron hand. In a few generations, my people were well underway to repopulating the Earth and becoming the planet's dominant species. I was happy then. You're taking the world over out of nostalgia? I'm taking over because humanity is prideful and belligerent, and once again needs my guiding hand. But before I take over, I intend to soften them up. By destroying half the world. Those who survive will happily follow a leader who offers food, comfort, and order. That could work. It will work. To you, my warlords, I offer dominion over as much of what remains of the planet as each of you can hold, second only to me. Interested? You haven't left us much choice. <laughs> How do you propose to kill that many people? Even without the Justice League, they will fight. They'll lose.
on my world, it means hope. Where have you been? When I saw the grave had been restored, I assumed you'd gone after- Later, I'm busy. Bruce, Superman's been shot. Surgeons brought to the scene have been unable to operate. Superman's invulnerable flesh has thus far resisted all attempts to cut- Flash, listen carefully. I need you to go to Star Labs Kyoto and have them forge a piece of kryptonite into a scalpel. Bring it to Can't me. Can't help you. I got a bomb bolted to my wrist. If I stop- It'll explode. Yeah. I'm starting to get tired. One way or another, I'll have to try something soon. Keep running. I'll call back when I can. How did you know what was happening to Flash? John, I need your help. John? John! John! It's Batman! What's happening? Batman! I'm still running! Alfred, get the Batwing ready. The Justice League is under attack. By whom? By me! Batman to Justice League. Wonder Woman here. Are you all right? I am now. I'm with Cyborg. Bring him with you. The plans don't account for him. He could be the key. Key to what? What's going on, Batman? Do you know something? The Justice League is in extreme danger. You don't say. Listen, I can't keep running. I think I can vibrate. No, it won't work. You have to trust me. You got a better idea? Slightly. How far away are you from an iceberg? I'm never far from anything. You think that'll slow it down enough? Just. But you make one misstep. Got it. At least if it doesn't work, nobody dies but me. Are you okay? <sighs> Not the way I would have bet two seconds ago, but yeah, I'm fine. Good. Now everyone listen very carefully. We can still save Superman and Green Lantern if you do exactly what I say. How are you feeling? Fine. You injected me with aluminum oxide? On Batman's instruction. Interesting. It's harmless to my Martian physiology, but ideal for neutralizing the magnesium I was secreting. How did he know? We'll ask him when we see him. Right now, you have to prep for surgery. Listen to me. However it looks, this wasn't your fault. Whose fault was it then? I was the one with the most powerful weapon in the universe. I was the one whose arrogance led to this girl's death. I know more than a little about arrogance. I also know about dead bodies, and that isn't one. She's a sophisticated android. They all were. The entire scenario was created to convince you that you made a bad call. But you didn't. I was afraid that... No. You weren't afraid. Not really. You were dosed with the synthesized version of the Scarecrow's fear gas. Because will is the source of your strength. And fear is the enemy of will. I've got the antidote to the fear gas. Don't need it. Robots, advanced drugs, psychological profiling? No way Star Sapphire came up with this on her own. I did this to you. To all of you. 
You want me to perform surgery on him? You're the only one who can. Flash is at Star Labs Kyoto, waiting for them to finish making a kryptonite scalpel. Nothing else can cut his skin. But we've run out of time. Your shape-shifting powers are his best hope. This can work. I'm glad you think so. Because you're going to be doing the cutting. Who with the what now? What's that? A piece of kryptonite that you're going to use like a lens. Narrow your blaster to minimum and filter it through. I really don't know if I can... Please. Tell me what to do. That's good. We're ready for you now. Why don't you ask him? I should easily be able to intercept it before it detonates. Solar flare is coming. How do we stop it? I don't know, but we've got less than eight minutes to figure something out. Maybe longer. Not much back. You think he'll stop it? He'll stop it. Not this time. The flare's on its way. We've got about seven minutes to come up with something. Seven minutes? Hal's gonna try to buy us some more, but that's all we can count on. I could move the Earth out of the way. If we had a week, I couldn't list all the reasons that won't work. You have a plan? No, but Savage does. This place is going to be Sunside by the time the Flare gets here. The Legion wasn't worried either. There must be some mechanism to protect them from the Flare. 
Start talking. I don't have time for niceties. You don't have time to break an immortal either. Don't have to. I know how they intended to survive. The intangibility tech he gave the Royal Flush Gang. It must have been a test run. Sure, just let the flare pass right through this place. But where's the apparatus? It would have to be huge. That's the beauty part. The Hall of Doom is the apparatus. I already downloaded the specs when I interfaced with the control panel. Can this building generate a signal strong enough to make the whole Earth intangible? If we had enough power. Also, it would help if it were higher up. How high? Low orbit? I can help you out with that. Everybody knows their jobs. Go! Green Lantern. His shield just failed. The solar flare is on its way. What about it, Victor? Is the displacement field ready? I think so. I'd like to test... This is the test. Can you see him, Jimmy? Working on it, Lois. I think that guy works for our paper. The bond issue should easily cover the budget shortfall into the third quarter of our next fiscal year. Now, we all know the federal money was a one-time thing to help boost the economy. Hello. That's me. You know Henry Ackerson? He used to be White House beat, got downsized. He was a good reporter, a real shame. It's about to be a bigger shame. He's going to jump off the top of the Daily Planet. I'm on my way. <laughs> Mr. Ackerson? May I call you Henry? Call me whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Nothing does. I'm going to have to disagree with you, sir. Everything matters. Everybody matters. Don't come any closer! I'll do it! I'm staying right here.
You don't understand. I've been a newspaper man for 40 years. I started as a copy boy when I was 16. I always thought I'd be doing it until the day I died. <laughs> I guess I got that part right. There are other jobs. Newspapers are dying. I spent my life fighting for the little guy, fighting for truth and justice. It isn't relevant anymore. That's what some people say. But I've fought for the same things, even when they don't seem fashionable. It's a never-ending battle, but we can't quit. I'm not the man you think I am. I'm too weak to fight anymore. You're stronger than you know, Mr. Ackardson. Kryptonite bullet. Kryptonite heart. In light of the breach of trust revealed to us during the Vandal Savage matter, we have to decide whether Batman should be allowed to remain in the League. All those in favor of- Wait. Before we vote, I think the accused should be allowed a few words in his defense. Seconded. Okay. Batman? My actions don't require any defense. In the same situation, I do it again. Aw, oh, come on! As individuals, and even more so as a group. The Justice League is far too dangerous to lack a failsafe against any possible misuse of our power. We use our power to protect the world. We always have. And what if we ever used it for some other purpose? If you people can't see the potential danger of an out-of-control Justice League, I don't need to wait for a vote. I don't belong here. Got a minute? What do you want? You made contingency plans to stop everybody in the League just in case any one of us ever went bad. My contingencies were intended to immobilize, not kill. But Savage came up with a plan to bury you. I assume so. It wasn't one of mine. Was that it? With all that talk about unchecked power, you're still so arrogant you didn't bother to come up with a plan to stop yourself? I do have a plan. It's called the Justice League. Just wanted to be sure. What is it? If the League ever did go over to the wrong side, I want there to be somebody I can trust to keep the planet safe. Even from me. <laughs> 